Hey guys, welcome back. Today is a collaboration video and I love collabs. And this is from Catherine from Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. It's her like brainchild. So I'll put the link below. There's only a few of us taking part. I love small collabs. It's really easy to watch everyone's videos. So make sure that you check everybody out. It is for the love of organizing. So she asked us to share what we were like really planning on doing for 2016 to get our families organized. And for me, this is my focus when it comes to organization this year. It's less, just living with less. When I first started my, you know, transition to clean from total cluttered craziness, it was purging that really made the difference. You can buy all the bins and containers that, that you want, but unless you really pare down, it's impossible to be organized. And now that I am organized and everything has a home, even though I purge fairly regularly, Christmas we get all this gifts and even Valentine's Day grandparents and great grandparents buy my children things and there's just constantly things coming in the home and it's not going out at the same stream. So 2016, I'm just gonna live with less. I'm gonna try to spend less money, buy less things and have less things. So I'm taking purging seriously. In my calendar, my, my planner, I've actually planned purging as part of my daily routine. So, you know, we make the bed, I clean the house, I have all this routine for my um, week. I've now put purging into that to really make a big impact. And today I'm doing my son's closet. So I'll show you a quick sneak peek of that. Thanks so much. So even though everything's in bins and baskets, it was getting like full as you can see and I didn't really need the space so it wasn't a priority to me to purge things but what I've realized is all keeping the things that I'm not using and loving and all these little things shoved here and there are taking so much away from the stuff that I do want to store and then the important things are left out you know like their toys and things like that when I could have a spot to put them away so this is everything that was purged I was keeping you know his crib blankets and his a booster and his original nursery decor and I have no idea why I got rid of a whole bag of clothes that were too small too so you know, it's going to go to a great home. It's kind of sad to see it go, but he's going to be four in September, so no reason to still keep that. And now in those empty bins that I was able to get rid of, I'm able to store extra toys and do toy rotation, and I still have lots more space to do mo even more toy rotation, which will really minimize the amount of clutter in his room. So I really recommend that you do a purge. That's the first step to organization, and um, it sets you up for success. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click the links below to check out everybody else's organizing advice, what they do, stuff. I'm pretty excited about it. See you next time. So if you're new to my channel or you haven't seen yet, I'm giving away a brand new Roomba 980. It's valued over $1,000 and it will be shipped right to your door. So make sure you check out the video on how to enter and I can't wait to see you next time.